Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new, thank you for joining me. If you are returning, thank you for that. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment so that I know what kind of videos you guys are after. Um, today I have a Target Dollar Spot haul. Yeah, pretty much everything's from Target Dollar Spot. So um, I will tell you some prices also, um, but my daughter would like to say hey. Can you say hey? Hi. <laughs> Um, and then there's the baby. He turned um, seven months yesterday. So time is just flying. Okay, so I'll start with my most favorite item. Um, I was looking for these last year, but I could never get my hands on any. So I was finally able to pick some up. So these were a um, dollar. And there are 60 in here. It says reward erasers. Um, reward students for being outstanding. Um, these two are sets of numbers. Um, I don't want to open them because... Okay, hold on. I don't want to open them because I don't have anywhere to put them at the moment. I want to wait until I have my classroom, but... Which I haven't found a job yet, so I haven't bought much school stuff. Um, hold on, back up. Like I did last summer, um, so that's why I haven't seen much teacher stuff. Um, I'm just a little bit discouraged, and if I don't find a classroom... Can we stop? You can't do that, baby. Um, so if I don't find a classroom this year... I don't want to have all this extra stuff that I don't have any room for in my house. Um, so anyway, these are just some numbers. Hey, Bennett. Bennett, look. Hold on, guys. Come here, look. Well, you're pulling all my cotton down with you. You're pulling all my cotton down. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So um, these are just some numbers. They're just erasers, but if you can see the little two there, um, there's a four. So um, what I'm going to do with these um, kind of like a math, I think like uh, math manipulatives is what I had in mind for these. Um, and then for like a small group in reading, these are um, letters. So who's that for? B for who? That's a B for who? Bennett. Bennett. That's a B for Bennett. That's our baby. Um, and then we have an H for who? Hadley. H for Hadley. And then we have, um, let's see, a P. Who's the P for? For Poppy. For Poppy! That's right. Okay. So um, these two are letters, um, still 60 count. But I thought I would put these in like a reading small group um, as like they could spell their spelling words. Just something a little more fun, easier cleanup than like stamps or Play Doh. So I got those. Again, I was looking for those last year because they had them out in the dollar spot last year. Stop, baby. And um, I couldn't find them. Somebody needs a nap. <laughs> um, okay, so then moving on, more school stuff. I picked up these three items. So I don't really have any plans for any of this. Well, I do for one, but um, okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so these are bulletin board accents, 26 count. Um, they're just the alphabet and they're round like this. So you could either do it as like your ABC chart, or um, if you teach like kindergarten or preschool um, and you have like uh, letter boxes, you could do like put the A here and then put all the little A objects. Um, you could do like if you have like a little apple or uh, last year they had um, apple erasers in the dollar spot. Um, so you could put like, if you're in pre-K, you know what I'm talking about, but there's like um, letter manipulative boxes and you put like a bunch of things that start with A in a box, a bunch of things that start with B in a box. So what I had in mind for these is if you had like all those A things, you could sort them out and put them on the different like mats, which would be these. So A, oh, this is um, my daughter's new tea set. Thank you to my sister for getting her a tea set. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. And then I picked up these bulletin board accents. It says works best with a dry erase marker. There's 24 count in here. So you could either do like um, name plates or... Um, cubby hole, like, uh, <laughs> cubby hole name tags or something like that. Um, and then I picked up these 30 count bulletin board accents. These are paper, um, so I would have to laminate these. I would, um, laminate these, but there's one that says social studies, music, writing, reading, math, recess, science, and art. So I was thinking of, um, using the social studies 
writing, reading, and math, and the science one even, um, for like a, like my objectives board, so to laminate them, and then um, use these as like, put this and then write the science, I can statement, and then the math, I can statement. Girl, you better stop. This is why I do this without kids home on the days they go to daycare, but today's Friday, and they don't go to daycare on Fridays, so. Here we are. I braved Target. Okay, you've got to stop. I braved Target um, with both of them and the heat. So, okay. So that's all I picked up for my classroom. And then a couple of things I picked up for my cake business. Um, um I recently started doing um, cookies too. So I picked these up to do um, back to school cookies. And these are gonna be like tags on the um, cookie bags. So paper tags, both eight counts. This one says roses are red, apples are two. Can't wait to spend the school year with you. So there's four of those I'm assuming and they even come with like the little red and white rope. And then there's four of the little leaves so you can just personalize the back of it. Um, and then these are paper tags, eight count. It says thanks for helping me grow. And then it says it takes big hearts to shape little minds. Just some cute little teacher tags. Um, so I'm going to use these to tie on to my um, cookie bags when I make those. I'm not sure where my daughter just ran off with those. Hadley! She took a bag of the erasers. What are you doing? Okay, um, so a couple things for the house. I picked up this little, um, it's just like a little wooden plaque. It says, welcome. It was only a dollar. Um, I just thought it looked kind of farmhouse-y. Um, and I'm just gonna, please stop shaking the chair, baby. Every time you shake it, the chair, the camera shakes. Um, so I got this to put um, when I redo the other built-in that I have. I still have not redone the other side. So I got that for that, and I think I got this for the same reason, or I could put it in the one I've already done and stick my lemon um, stems in it, but this one was $3, and it just says glassware, but it has the honeycomb pattern, and if you can kind of see, it's kind of harder, harder to see on the clear glass, but they did have like a black smoky look one, uh, but there are some bumblebees in there. Again, it's kind of hard to see on the clear one, but I kind of like that it's harder to see on the clear. You can see the design really well, but the bumblebees are harder to see, and they stood out in the black one, and I don't really like that they stood out. I'm not after the bumblebee itself. I'm after the honeycomb effect, um, which obviously I know they go hand in hand, but um, so I got the clear one because I wasn't so sure about the actual look of the bees. I'm not sure what she's asking me for. Okay, we'll figure it out in just a second, okay? Okay, um, and then the last thing I got, this one wasn't that long of a haul, sorry guys. Um, I did get some baby formula too, but y'all don't care to see that. Um, this is No More Tears Johnson's Skin Nourish Shea and Cocoa Butter Wash. Um, I picked this up one, our kids need soap in the bathroom, and I like that it's you know what? I wanted shampoo and soap in the same thing. But I only picked up soap, it looks like. Okay, well, the baby might get this in his hair, too. Um, so, this is just soap, but I just like that it was shade because I thought it would make, make his skin soft. And also, my husband was asking me, when do you stop using baby soap and baby shampoo? on kids she's gonna be three in november and i was like i don't i don't really know i mean like five i don't know so if you have any ideas down below um how long you use baby soap and shampoo on your kids um let me know down in the comments below we'd love to know um but yeah so if you saw anything that you're after um let me know again in the comments if you have anything that i haven't seen or um didn't haul that you think would be a great addition Go ahead and let me know that too. I am looking to send out my first friend mail um, with the gel super glue that I hauled a while back. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, we are going to the lake this week 
uh, this weekend, and then in a couple weeks we're going to go to Myrtle Beach, um, which will be a nine-hour drive for these kiddos and both of their first trips to the beach. So if you have any suggestions for two kids in a car for nine hours and two kids on a beach for the first time, drop those in the comments below because I need all the hacks I can get for an easier trip to the beach. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now guys.